Welcome to Weirdring Games April Development Diary. This month I focused on implementing a new lighting system. This works on top of the layers that we have already implemented into the game. And basically what it's used for is to add that extra layer of SFX to magic. So when the characters perform spells, the player sees this really nice magical effect. And I just think it gives a little bit more dynamic action to the scene. We currently have this lighting implemented in the background so that our lights on our background scenes and our candles are lit but I wanted to add this layer over the top of the characters just so that we could really get some cool effects when the player sees them making magic. Here are some examples of that lighting at work as you can see when the characters cast spells. The next thing I worked on this month was making sure that our character creator got a 3.0 makeover. So one of the things I have added now is buttons so that you can see the skin tones, hair colors, eye colors before you start scrolling through the styles. I think this is much easier for the player to read and recognize. And I think it's really good to give those options up front so that players don't have to expend a lot of energy looking for their skin tone or their eye color. It's just right there for them to select and then they can scroll through shapes. The next thing that we changed was all of the UI. I have put together this little pack in Illustrator. Um, it's a bit of an update compared to the last UI that we used that I just made in Photoshop. This is much cleaner, crisper. I'm hoping that it represents the game a little bit better. We've had some really good feedback on it so far from our testers. They're definitely liking it better than the old UI. I was also trying to make this UI a lot easier to read so that players really understand what these buttons are for. Here I'm just showing an example of what the new UI with the new character creator looks like. I think it looks much better. I think it's definitely an upgrade. So hopefully you can see all of the stuff that I did. Thank you so much for watching our April update. Remember you can follow us on social media, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and at weirdrin.com where we update our blog regularly. Keep up to date with us there and we can't wait to show you what we're doing.